Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. Hey everyone and welcome to another G10 Line video here on the channel. And today we are achieving the impossible. We are going to take the giant Kasatka submarine and make it fly vertically in the air on its own with no other assistance from other vehicles. Now how do we go about completing this task you may ask? Through a glitch to spawn props and online to make the ramp as well as tons and tons of boost pads to get the Kasatka going. Now if you're wondering how we even got the props to spawn in like this, well, I have no idea to tell you the truth. I wasn't the one spawning the props in, nor do I even know how to do that. I don't have any clue on how the glitch works, but it was a lot of fun. And now without further ado, here is our journey to flying the Kasatka. Our very first obstacle comes in the form of getting it over this wall and fence to even get the submarine into the airport to get near the props. And the way we try to get around this is by using a team of Avengers to lift the big black submarine from both ends. Wait, are we airborne? Are we airborne? I'm leaning, I'm leaning. We're, oh, we're off the ground though, we're off the ground. I think you might have to push me out more because I don't know how you're going to get leverage over there. Yes! Lift! Lift! Not yet. You might be able to just get underneath me now and push me up and pick me up. Eventually, we did manage to get the submarine onto the airport runway for the first run, which unfortunately, and expectedly, was a bust. No! I'm not getting boost! Is it because- Ah, oh shit. It's probably because it, 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 the way you drive this is different. Unless I'm not in the center mass of the vehicle yet. Push me forward a little bit. Maybe the center mass of the vehicle has to pass through it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I got one. I, I just I think I just need a boost, though. I'm hitting them. Wait, it, it's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> No! I'm off course, though. I, I need to go on course so we'll be able to make it. One thing we did learn from this run is that the boosters definitely do work on the Kasatka. Getting ready for our next run, we made sure to point the submarine in a more straight manner so that it wouldn't go off course. Alright, now give me a nice push forward. One push forward. Maybe. Oh, yes. Yes! Yes! We're going! <laughs> That's as best as we're gonna get, I think. This current ramp setup was simply not going to work. It proved to be way too steep of an incline for the Kasatka to travel up, so it was back to the drawing board to come up with a new ramp design. The new ramp that the engineers came up with involved two massive walls placed on both sides to keep the submarine from veering off the path on its way up, along with a more gradual increase in incline because of how big the Kasatka is. Alright, we're, we're ready for launch! Give me that push! Harder! <laughs> do I, maybe I, do I have to be upright? Oh, here we go, here we go! Ah, I, I clipped. I'm getting stuck on something. See, this is why I have to be upright. Because I'm the bottom of my thing is going to clip on things. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, despawn shit. In this case, there was an issue with the props despawning, which is why I kind of just flew right through them. But another feat of engineering that was created along the way was a smaller ramp by the water crafted to make it much easier to get to the initial launch position on the runway, so we didn't have to enlist eight Avengers each time. There we go. And now we're off. Oh my god. Perfect.
Now for our final version of the Kasatka flight ramp, we used tubes combined with slanted flat pieces to both prevent it from flying off the path and to gradually aim it more and more vertically as it travels up the ramp. And in testing it out, it brought out some very interesting physics. Oh my God, we're gonna get like completely upside down. Yeah, if we can get a Kasatka up this high. I'm just kind of stuck up here. Wait, wait, I can run? I can somehow run up here? Like actually running vertically right now? What the fuck? Damn, we need some boost right now. Oh, there's the boost! There's the boost! It, yo, push- if we can get to the boost! We're almost there, we need to get to the boosts. I need some Avengers to rerun me. Full speed rerun. Come on, push, push! Go, go, Kasatka, go! We're off to the races! No! No! <laughs> it despawned! Fuck! We were doing it too! We would have had it! Once again, we had the dreaded issue of the ramp props disappearing midway through, but the progress here was still substantial as we finally caught some nice air after all this time. However, I was simply not satisfied, so we tried it one more time. Full speed ahead, ladies and gents. Push! Alright, we're almost to the boosts. Almost to the first boosts. All right, I'm gone. Into the boost we go. Come on, spawn in, spawn in, spawn in. Spawn in, spawn in, spawn in. Spawn in, keep spawning. Keep spawning. Keep spawning. Yes. It's going. <laughs> We're going straight up! <laughs> Yo, you guys better be recorded. Yes, we made it! <laughs> it looks like a giant rocket. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> it's brilliant! Oh, it's amazing. Man, we got it all the way up there. We got it all- Dude, we got it straight up in the air! Oh my god, we did it! Brilliant! <laughs> Look, I'm pointing straight in the air! <laughs> Alright. Wonderful. Wonderful, boys. Wonderful. That was brilliant. There it is. We got the dub. See, we, we had just had to retry and we had it perfect. History was made. That was fantastic. It actually worked, too. We got it to fucking fly, dude. 
And at long last, we finally made history. A Kasatka flying vertically over the clouds in the skies of Los Santos. A truly magnificent sight to behold. If you guys enjoyed this journey to Kasatka flight, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I also want to give a huge shout out to my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.